New York's classic rock, Q1043. Ken Dashow sitting in for this edition of Sunstein Sunday that Shelley lets me participate in every year around Thanksgiving because of an organization that I've been proud to help with since 1982 back in the other place. And for those of you who are math experts, that's a lot of years. I'm talking about Why Hunger, the organization that Harry Chapin founded with Bill Ayers and now is being run brilliantly and has been going the last few years, great guns, and sadly, we need it more than ever. Welcome, Executive Director of Why Hunger, Noreen Springstead. Hi. Great to be with you, Ken. It's such a wonderful tradition that we have. We just don't get to break bread together this year, unfortunately. Uh, that part sucks, and everything is virtual, including this. But here it is, Why Hunger's 35th season, 35th Hungerthon, bringing our radio partners together at iHeart New York. Yoko Ono and Billy Joel have always been a part of this, raising awareness and funds to invest in solutions to end hunger. And without even taking a wild guess, I could imagine that this year, more New Yorkers, New Jerseyans, more Americans have been going without food than ever before. Yeah, let's put it in perspective. Things were going in the right direction last year. We were, those hunger numbers were coming down. Uh, we were on on a good trajectory and then bam, the pandemic hit and the result of all of the pain that so many people are enduring, unemployment, part-time work, no jobs, uncertain future, the numbers of hungry Americans has skyrocketed. More than 54 million people are experiencing hunger in America. 18 million of those are children. Those are real people. They're our neighbors, they're our family. They're, they could be former co-workers. Um, this is something that is affecting so many. And, and right here in New York City, it, it, we all know that it was a, a harrowing spring. And um, almost 2 million New Yorkers are really struggling to make ends meet and relying on emergency food from many of our frontline agency partners uh, throughout the five boroughs. And New Jersey, the, the hunger numbers have skyrocketed. 20% of children in New Jersey will experience hunger due to the impact of COVID-19. Those numbers are up dramatically, 75% over uh, just a year and a half ago. So this is a real crisis. This is a time of year when we come together with our radio station partners and you've been such an incredible friend to the organization and we need support now more than ever. Well, yeah, it goes back to the first time I met Harry Chapin when I first became aware of this before he was even on the air in New York uh, College at Hobart College and he flew up there and we did a, a show and I picked him up at the airport and I said, you know, feeding people is a wonderful cause. What does this do? that other organizations don't. And he smiled and said, giving away food is a good idea and it helps, but getting people off the system where they need to beg for food, getting people back into the grid, getting them jobs, finding ways to be self-sustaining, that's the way to ultimately end hunger. And I was hooked right there. And this was mm. when I'm 18 years old. And I thought this man understands what the goal is and how to get it done. You got it, Ken. I mean, Harry was so ahead of his time and his partner, Bill Ayers, the radio DJ and other founder of Why Hunger, they, they knew they had to ask those why questions. Why are people hungry? Um, for your fans out there, there's a great documentary out there about Harry Chapin, uh, When in Doubt, Do Something. And it's about that vision. It's about his legacy being alive and well in organizations like Why Hunger and Long Island Cares and the Harry Chapin Foundation. But it's really a portrait of a man who was civically engaged, who gave every other concert to fight hunger, who's a real inspiration and his credo, when in doubt, do something. I think, I think that might be the illumination point coming out of all of this turmoil and darkness that we're in. We can see how many people were really just one step away of falling into the abyss and relying on emergency food. We can do better as Americans. So if you want to get a little glimpse of how Why Hunger started and what we're doing today, you can stream the Harry Chapin documentary, When in Doubt, Do Something, to get the full backstory of 
of his life and his legacy and the good work that Why Hunger continues to do. And where is it streaming, Doreen? I believe you can get it on Amazon Prime. Um, um, there's a couple other places you can uh, get it. When in doubt, do something is um, Harry Chapin documentary. If you just Google that, you'll find it. And, you know, the people that have come together, and I use that expression specifically, Yoko Ono has been mm. such a supporter. His fellow Long Islander, Billy Joel, has been such a supporter. And it, of course, you know, for where you can send money and it's appreciated, whyhunger.org, but we have wonderful auction items to bid on. And the most comfortable sweatshirt you guys have ever put out. Let's do it together and show them. Hey. <laughs> And check it out, John Lennon on the sleeve. So we have this beautiful multicolored uh, John Lennon uh, signature portrait doodle that he did. And it's in this rainbow of color on this uh, nice, comfy, cozy black sweatshirt. And it has um, John Lennon's signature in white down the sleeve. And you can get that at hungerthon.org. We also have, again, Yoko, so gracious and generous every year. This really cool t-shirt. Yes. So there's the John Lennon doodle. It's a big peace sign. And in the peace sign are the lyrics to imagine. It's oh. a cozy shirt, a great gift for people also on hungerthon.org. And since we're doing show and tell, <laughs> all, always an amazing person. I think there was a, you know, New York has such a, a special place in so many hearts. Uh, people across the country, a lot of roots in New York City. Um, so the shirt that he gave us is New York State of Mind. Nice, so Billy. Signed by Billy Joel. Really, really nice stuff this year. So that's just an incentive to get you involved. We need your help. Every, every donation amount matters. And if you want to get these great gifts, you can do that too. And for people who are longtime fans of Q104.3, you've heard us talk every single year. You know the amazing work they do. For, we have lots of new listeners this year. And thank you all for coming to Q104.3 to explain this is a grassroots local movement that started here, but it's also nationwide. Mm -hmm. And they work with food banks all over the country to make sure that people who are suddenly don't have money, people who've lost their jobs, who've been thrown off their gigs, the entire entertainment industry has ground to a halt. There are people hungry who have never been hungry before. Um, that's why it matters, uh, hungerthon.org. Plus, we always do something special. And the last live event I did in radio, we did a live Breakfast with the Beatles event for George Harrison's birthday in February. And I just remember we never even discussed for a second, is it safe to do this? Mm. You know, here it is the third week in February and it never came up. Four weeks later, I'm broadcasting from home. The world is ground to a mm -hmm. halt. And it will come back because we're New York. We're tough. It always does. It always will. London will come back. Paris will come back. And someday, I don't know when, hopefully in 2021, we'll be doing a live Breakfast with the Beatles show again hopefully from the cutting room because I, I love that place. And I would like to auction off a VIP table for four to come to the next live breakfast with the Beatles because you can't buy that anywhere. You have to win it. So that will be up for auction as well. That's great. And you can get the auctions at hungerthon.org as well. Save me a seat for that show. I'm dying to go see uh, some live music and just be in the company of, of good people. So one of your listeners will definitely be bidding on that and, and winning that experience. Plus, that they, we got a really cool signed guitar that day of everybody who is at Breakfast with the Beatles. It was with my co-host who has done this for many years, little Stephen. And Bruce has been such a huge supporter of Why yeah. Hunger with Harry. So little Steven signed this guitar, Mark Hudson, Liberty DeVito from the longtime drummer with Billy yeah. Joel from all those years, John Cobert, who's been with me live and also plays with Tom Chapin, and May Pang, who is with John. And you want to talk about something you're not going to buy, and I'm not going to put it up at Julian's or anything. It is just to get this lovely guitar, and it's a good guitar. Uh, go to whyhunger.org. And this is, again, one of the things I can't stress enough. 
for doing something for a charity, for Christmas presents, for Hanukkah presents. These are great presents because it not only is a great present and this shirt is ridiculously comfortable, mm. but all of the items available for auction really show the person you're giving them to you that you care and that you made a difference too. That's right. And, you know, it's a difference with meaning. I think we're all doing a lot of reflecting. And, and for me, the, the big question on my mind is what does it mean to live a dignified American life? And to me, it means starting with access to nutritious food and our guiding star, which is a human rights lens that all people should have access to nutritious food and that it should be a human right. And that people shouldn't be stressing about it and thinking about it and waiting on lines, mile long lines at food banks. Demand is up 60%. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's cold or raining or snowing, you still got to feed yourself and your family. And this is a crisis like we have not seen since the Great Depression. And why hunger is helping people meet their immediate needs during their hunger crisis. Um, while we're also working to transform some systems and starting with our partners who are um, heroically on the front lines, um, providing uh, this critical food to people, running a parallel track to create pathways out of poverty and to end hunger for good. That's what your support of Why Hunger means. And again, reminding everyone, were there times when you think that we're talking about people who are homeless, who have given up on life, who have no tools. Also, the surge of people who are working and had good jobs and were intact, who find themselves with nothing and nowhere to turn and can't get a job at Amazon or don't have childcare. They're going without food to keep shelter over their heads. They're going with adults going without food to make sure their children are fed. It's a, like Maureen said, it's an crisis of unimaginable proportions. And the thing about why hunger is on Charity Navigator, which is the ultimate judge of the quality of charity, four-star rating, which is the highest rating you can get. Noreen, am I remembering correctly? Like 86 cents or so of every dollar goes to programs to help. You feed got it, those. Ken. Yeah, we're good stewards of your dollars. Your dollars mean something. Every single penny counts to make this world a better place. Um, to help solve the hunger crisis, to invest in our frontline partners all across the nation, and to, to keep that goal of ending hunger for good so that nobody is in that, that difficult position to, to feel the stress and the pain of, uh, can you feed your family today? Can you feed yourself today? We need to do better as a country, and I know that we can. I know that it's possible. Hunger is a solvable problem. And that's one of the other strategies of ours is to build a movement for change so that we don't accept that food charity is the only way to address hunger. It is a critical component, especially now with skyrocketing hunger, people who've never experienced it before, we must provide food to people and make sure it's healthy and available and accessible but we need to do better. We need to really create a pathway to end hunger for good. Noreen Springstead, Executive Director of Why Hunger. Um, again, the website is? Right now the campaign is hungerthon.org where you can get these incredible imagined sweatshirts and t-shirts and the Billy Joel New York State of Mind. We also have a, a regular Hungerthon t-shirt and a pin and a mug. And if you go to hungerthon.org, you can also um, bid on these incredible auction items. And last point, if someone is listening to this or watching it and they are hungry and they're going without food, who do they call? There's a couple things you can do. You can call 1-800-5-HUNGRY, 1-800-548-6479. And we will make a referral to you to connect you to a place as close to your home as possible. You can also go to whyhunger.org slash find food and put your zip code in. We've been working with Google and ways to amplify the, the searches and try to get it as close to your home as possible. So whyhunger.org slash find food. Noreen Springstead, uh, thank you so much for coming on as always. Thank you for the work you're doing. Thank you to Yoko and Sean Lennon for 
donating the gifts, the images. Thank you, Billy Joel. And thanks everybody in the Q104.3 family far and wide and right around close to home. This is a problem we can fix and it makes the holidays much, much better. Thank you, Noreen. Thank you, Ken. New York's classic rock, Q104.3.